Good morning, everyone. Good morning, family. Good morning, everyone. This is a Sosa once again. Truth over lies daily. I know it's been a minute. Man, it's been crazy the past few months. God is really doing some new things in my life. And he's made it very clear. <laughs> um, so just excited to, 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 to be serving you and to answer all the questions that you may come up with um, to send me. Uh, once again, just to show, just to, uh, just to reiterate what Truth Over Lies Daily is all about. Uh, it's basically where you can express your doubts, beefs, unbeliefs, um, anything about the scriptures, God, the Bible, Jesus, anything that you may have questions about um, or anybody else that you know may have questions about. Um, we know a lot of people love God. They just have questions about the scriptures. So I want to present um, the opportunity to ask questions about the Bible and get good answers. I don't know everything, but I can do some research and find out um, what the scriptures say and then help you out with the answer the best I can. So this question, question came in and said, um, I wonder if pastors ever get convicted when they see their members start worshiping them instead of God, or do they feel it's a form of submission to God? Okay, so when it comes to respect and honor and reverence, that's a good thing. Um, the Bible says if you uh, receive those, uh, if you receive those that I've, Jesus said, if you receive those that I've sent, then you receive me. So if you reject the ones that Jesus has sent to you, then you're rejecting Jesus actually. So it's very important to receive the servants of God um, as far as messengers from God. But as when it comes to worship, that's definitely not doable. You should never worship or honor um, a servant of God above God. Um, and really, when it comes down to it, if a servant of God is actually serving God, they won't really have time to receive worship from you because they'll be too busy <laughs> teaching the word, doing the word, um, praying, raising a godly family, um, you know, just doing the things that it takes to actually serve God and the things that he's instructed a servant to do. Uh, and so those things are what a servant focuses on, and they focus on bearing fruit, not receiving the worship and glory and praise from men. Um, and so usually when people receive worship and they receive extra, all the extra attention from men, it's usually because they're, that's their goal, right? They want to display their talents. They're not really serving God or in obedience to God. They're just displaying their talents and their gifts and using it to to exercise authority over others. The Bible talks about this guy named the Atrophies um, who loved to have the preeminence over others. And he was, you know, just being very contrary to the saints and uh, being very contrary to the true servants of God. Um, there's a couple of scriptures I have on this. Uh, let's see. You can go down to Luke 17, 10, it says, so likewise you, when you have done all the things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants and we have done that which was our duty to do. So a servant of God is actually instructed by Jesus to not receive worship, but to say that, hey, I'm just a servant. I'm just an unprofitable servant doing what I'm supposed to be doing, doing my duty. Another example is when you see Acts chapter 12, Herod, um, who was not a believer, he was making a speech and they worshiped him and said, wow, this man, it's the voice of a God, not of a man. And what happened? Immediately, he got killed. God does not play around with his glory. He said, um, my glory shall I not give to another. You know, the Bible says, let no flesh glory in his presence. So receiving worship from people is definitely not um, what a servant of God does. Another example is Acts chapter 10, verse 25. Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him, fell down at his feet and worshiped him. But Peter stood him up saying, stand up. I myself also am a man. So the original apostle, Peter, would not let anyone worship him. He was preaching the gospel to the Gentiles, first Gentile to be preached, the gospel to be preached to. And he basically said, you cannot worship me. I'm just a man. So that's the mentality of a true disciple. And you can go to Acts 14, verse 11 and see the same thing happen. When Paul and Barnabas were preaching uh, in a city called Lyconia, they came and they worshiped them because they had healed somebody. Um, and they said, nope, you can't worship us. We're just people. And they started to preach the gospel. 
So um, just to answer the question real quickly and simply, no, servants of God cannot receive worship. Um, we could definitely uh, honor is for all men. We honor each other. We love one another. We support one another. But as far as worship, so thanks for listening. Once again, Truth Over Lies Daily. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to put these on uh, New City Assembly channel on YouTube and on Facebook. So share these if you like the answers, you like the questions. Please feel free to inbox me questions to, to any of my, um, any way you can email me or message me. Just inbox me questions and I'll be sure to answer. Thanks. God bless. Good morning, by the way. I didn't say good morning. Good morning. <laughs>